From 0 to 3, the area of f of x is 4. From 3 to 6, the area of f of x is negative 1. It's the same function, it's just different intervals. So if we went from 0 to 6, wouldn't that just be from 0 to 3 plus 3 to 6? Wouldn't that be equal to the integral from 0 to 3 plus the interval from 3 to 6? And don't we know those answers? The area from, isn't this from 0 to 3, 3 to 6 is from 0 to 6? So my answer simply is, well, what's this? It's 4. What's this? Negative 1. So my answer is 3. The area from 0 to 6 is 3. Now, C is kind of dumb. You don't have to do anything. Because I'm going from 3 to 3. I move nowhere. Can you have area if you move nowhere? If there's no width to it? No. So there is no area to this, so it's simply 0. That's an easy one. When there's no change or width to it, you can't do it. You're going from 3 to itself. Now this one, wait a second, I go from 6 to 3. Isn't that backwards? So if it's backwards, do you remember you just take your answer but make it negative? So you're basically just going to flip the answer. So basically what this means is it's negative. 3 to 6, is that okay? f of x dx, and do we know this one? What, isn't that negative 1? So will my answer just be the opposite of negative 1, which is 1? So my area is 1? Okay. Um, Wait a second. This is saying f of x, but multiply f of x by negative 5. Do we have from 3 to 6? That's right there. But can if that's a coefficient, can you just yank it out? Can't you just rewrite that as negative 5 this? Is that okay? Yeah. A coefficient can just pop out. They're just constants. Then, do we know this answer? Isn't that just simply a negative 5 times negative 1, which is 5? Next, 48. This is your function f of x. We want to find the area of 3 times f of x from 3 to 4. Now, first of all, do you understand let's change this to area from 3 to 4, f of x, dx, and pull the 3 out. Now, like above, we are given the area. Are we given the area of f of x from 3 to 4? No, but can we use our brain and go, hmm, 3 to 4, I see something familiar, a rectangle. Are we okay with that? We're basically going from 3 to 4. This is f of x. So what's the area of that? Two. Yeah, it's two block, blocks. It's two. So wouldn't my answer simply be three times two, which is six? So the area of f of x from three to four is two, but this three in front means triple it. OK, next one. What interval are we going from? Zero to seven. So we're going from zero all the way to 7. Now from 0 to 7, do you understand we have multiple areas? We're going from 0 to 7. So what would these two areas be? Well, let's start with this. What's that area right there? That's a little bit harder to see because where does it hit? But what's the slope of this line? Is it up one over one, up one over one. Is that slope of 1? It doesn't hit perfectly. Technically, it should hit right there. But is that a slope of 1? So isn't that a half? Is that okay? But don't we have to consider it being a negative one half? Because isn't it below? So the first base is a negative one half. Now, do you want to do area of a trapezoid, or do you want to make it two tri two triangles and a rectangle? Rather, maybe two triangles and a rectangle. 
So for this one right here, what's it going to be? Well, base of 2, height of 2, be 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that triangle is 2. This one's 2 as well, right? So plus another 2. And isn't this 2? Got another one that's 2. And then plus or minus another half. Okay, with two negative one halves. That's two, two, and two. Two, two, two. And these are each negative one half. Add up all that, you get five. Is that right? So the area from zero to seven is five. Because you have two negative halves and three twos. Each two areas. Last one, from 4 to 10. So from 4 here to 10. We okay with that? So now we want to find, can we just find this whole triangle right here? Well, isn't this whole triangle a base of 4 times a height of 2? 4 times 2 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4. So isn't this thing a negative 4? And what was this area right here? Wasn't that 2? So wouldn't this one just be 2 minus 4 or 2 plus negative 4? Does it make sense that my area is negative 2? Shouldn't there be more negative than positive? Thus it should be negative. 